Hello, this is Amy with One Mommy Scrapping and welcome to Take Two Tuesday where I take my Facebook Live video from Happy Scrappy Sunday and speed it up and narrate it for you. I have two photos of my daughter and I was given a request to see how I could use envelopes in my layout. Um, I have a follower who has had that um, had, has a, these packs of envelopes and wanted to know how she could use them. So I used that envelope punch board there to make two envelopes. Um, and it, it took a little trial and error. The orange and pink one there, I messed up on. And uh, so I went and redid it with the blue one with the little dashes in it. I ended up using uh, the pink one as well. And you'll see how in a moment. So this is our photos of my daughter taken just this past Saturday. We surprised her with an owl and a letter addressed to the girl at the top of the stairs. And um, she is going to get to go to Universal Studios for her 11th birthday to officially be sorted into her Hogwarts house. I am using the Rosie Studio Dream and Color Collection, which is an absolutely gorgeous collection from New Zealand. I recently picked up a lot of it from, from directly from their shop, uh, rosiestudio.com, I believe. And I got a lot of the paper, the die cuts, the layered stickers, the foam stickers, the letter stickers, just tons of amazing stuff. So I use most of it on this since, being that it's a Harry Potter layout, I wanted something magical. So I have chosen this purple paper with some stars and then the um, rainbow paper to make a vertical stripe. And then the white paper with the unicorns is actually gold foiled which is a really nice touch. Their 12 by 12 and their 6 by 6 paper pads all have gold foil on it. So I'm showing kind of some of my other envelope choices. I've had these paper and glass scene envelopes that um, I keep. I have little supplies that will um, arrive in them and I keep them. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. Unfortunately, I'm not able to figure out a way to use them for this layout. Uh, a lot of times I'll use them just as mats. I'll, I'll mat photos with them. So I'm using my black soot distress ink, of course, to ink the edges. This is the only inking I actually do is on the two large pieces of paper because I wanted to keep the layout a little lighter. Uh, I, I went ahead and just did the sheets of paper. Um, otherwise, I would have gone ahead and done the envelopes too, but I, didn't, I just didn't feel right. So I end up using the pink and orange envelope, but I flip it over to the back so you just see the pink side. And I use that kind of as a background layer. And then I go ahead and tuck my two photos so it looks like they're coming out of the envelope. Now this works particularly well because of the topic of what I'm doing. I mean, it, an envelope features in the picture. It's about getting the letter from Hogwarts. So it works, however, I have seen lots of really great um, layouts that use envelopes. Um, one recently I watched by Virginia Walker and she has the same envelope punch board and makes a whole bunch of tiny little envelopes for small pictures and things and it is so nice. If I can find it again, I will link it down below. Um, so I'm going through some of the embellishments that I've chosen. And I didn't just get things from the Dream and Color collection, they have a mermaid collection which I cannot recall off the top of my head, but that's where I get the word dream from. And then the foam stickers, which to me aren't really foam stickers. It's kind of like a foam backing with like a hard plastic on top. But I choose the word magical, so the layout title will be Magical Dream. And now I'm going through the 15 bazillion die cuts you get. You get two of every die cut, and I don't have the packaging right next to me on... Um, how many die cuts it's it's over a hundred though and a lot of them have the gold foil on it and just so many like I pulled so many and I didn't even use them all a lot of times when I pull die cuts I'm like oh yeah I've got three that will work and that's it so having this huge option is just I honestly I think really cool <laughs> I was very excited I ended up having to go get another container because I had so many die cuts I wasn't going to use that it was like, oh, this isn't going to work for me. And even then, I've got a ton in that little bowl, and I uh, will eventually switch them out to um, 
a, a small bowl and then a larger bowl. So I'm trying to figure out how to fit the word magical in there. So I want the G kind of to fit into the word dream. And I finally decide to fit it to the left of the D. And unfortunately, the foam stickers do not stick so well. The word dream is what I would consider truly a foam sticker. Um, and it works just absolutely perfectly. Um, that little tab that I just added in there says this happened. I do eventually move it. I like the jar with the gold foil stars in. I thought that was just a really awesome, I don't know, it just felt magical. Like, And then the books, of course, for Harry Potter. And I had to include a unicorn. I mean, I have the unicorns all over that paper, but to have a pretty die cut unicorn too. Uh, here's the word birthday that I don't think I use either, which would have been perfect. That aqua colored rectangle there is a um, plane ticket. It says sparkle wherever you go to rainbows and bound uh, daydream believer. So that's just awesome. She did get a ticket in the envelope that um, is a, essentially a ticket from plat for platform nine and three quarters from her uh, from our hometown. To Orlando. My dog is here to say hello. I wasn't, when I first, just before I even started the video, was looking through just the pictures of the die cuts. That little scale at the bottom didn't really stick out to me, but all of a sudden as I was looking through it, like the words on it, cool, super amazing, magical, and majestic, just like fit brilliantly. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, stamped the date first, which I don't normally do, but I knew that because I was going to be putting these layers with foam tape down there that my uh, date stamp wouldn't really work so well. So I went ahead and did that first. So I am add the stack of books next to the title because it seems like, or I will add it there, it seems like that's a perfect little spot. I have these hearts that I wanted to go ahead and add as a horizontal element, so I cut them in half and have them coming out of both sides of the envelopes. And now I'm going ahead and peeling off the backing to the foam tape for the books, just to add a little bit in there, and I scoot it over because I wanted the little tiny bit of the yellow heart to peek out, which even in person, it's hard to see, but it's there. <laughs> so it just gives a little touch. And trying to figure out where to put that plane ticket was harder than I thought. So I ended up peeling up the little arrow that has this happened. And I used that to kind of tuck it in a little bit later. So I'm building my embellishment cluster with the ticket, with the unicorn. I've got the rainbow. And I'll keep adding just little things to it. I was chatting with my friend Miranda ahead of this video and showing her some of the stuff I was thinking about using. She goes, oh, you need to use the pineapples. As I said, that's going to be like, I'm not using those. And I, I end up using one. Um, the colors match, even though it's not their Dream and Color collection. It's their Soul Shine collection. Uh, but it's always been a thing for a few years for my daughter and I to look for pineapples. We're both psych fans. So if you've ever watched that show, pineapples figure in somehow in some small way into almost every single episode. So I'm using some of these epoxy stickers, and I think I end up only adding that one that says smiles in there. And then they have these puffy fray stickers, which really don't go with any collection. I end up pulling out hashtag winning, time to party, and I thought I had one more in here somewhere. I'm looking, oh, there it is, adventure awaits. And they'll get sprinkled around the layout as um, time goes on. You see the adventure await ones right now underneath the scale. This I'm planning on doing some journaling on. I just wanted a little bit there, something to say. We surprised Elizabeth with her birthday trip to Harry Potter World at the beginning of summer. And then time to party. I pulled that cake you see in the bowl in the top in the word birthday earlier because it is a birthday gift for her. And while I was looking through things, I found they actually had lightning bolts. So, of course, I mean, Harry Potter, I've got to include lightning bolts. My sister's telling me I need more gold, so I'm showing her the gold paint I plan on adding at the very end. I don't put too many of those flat stickers on there. I add Hip Hip Hooray uh, to start with, and that kind of goes over with my embellishment cluster on the bottom right. 
excuse me, that's not right. That's left. Bottom left. I know my directions. I promise. Teacher on summer vacation. I'm not paying attention. And of course, if I have the option to put a camera on anything, it's like, oh, I want the camera. Yes. Always need more cameras. And then they have this glitter lightning bolt. So I've got gold glitter and gold foil on this both. And I didn't mind that at all. I'm showing my another sister who was in the chat, the camera paper or phone paper. So there's a little glitter um, lightning bolt on top of the books. No clue what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> More just generic embellishments made by this company. Uh, if you order from them, I highly suggest go over and look at their sticker page because they have everything from all their collections. But that's where they have like these puffy heart and star stickers. They've got the puffy fray stickers. Those are their bright stars and hearts. They also have a neutral one, which I picked up and it's absolutely lovely. Like I'm so glad I got both. I kind of went back and forth. My cart there was over $100 before I checked out, and I'm like, nope, can't spend that much. I'm a teacher. Not happening. I could have easily, like, bought most of what they had in the store if my uh, finances would have allowed. <laughs> so those are the, um, I have some glitter Nouveau drops in the pink flamingo, purple rain, Aqua Mist, and then that light orange one is something with the word sunshine. I can't remember. So I wanted to add something else, and they have these layered stickers. And so I pulled the shooting star off because I'm like, I don't really want to start a brand new embellishment cluster, but I really want to use that shooting star. So I put it on the scissors there and was waiting for input from, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> from the people watching and Lisa said yes absolutely use a star so I did and then I go back and pull out the um the felt the felt bows which I've got right here they're also they're from Soul Shine also um if you order anything those bows are awesome I hope they end up making more of them in a variety of colors so I'm showing the different treatments um some of them, the 6x6 six six pads have different treatments than the 12x12 12 12 pads, which I like and don't like for a variety of reasons. All right, so now it is time to add some gold paint. This is the Liquitex Iridescent Bright Gold Paint that I have used for. Oh, and here are all my Nuvo drops. I can tell you now officially the colors. The bright pink is Flamingo Parade. The orange is Summer Sunrise, the aqua is Aquatic Mist, and the purple is Purple Rain. So of course, as I finish up, I've got to add in my Nouveau. I was going to add in the um, uh, epoxy pieces, because they've got some pretty glitter in them, but with all of the gold sparkle in there, I was, it just somehow didn't feel quite right this time. So as I'm finishing up, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, my dog needed a treat. He kept coming up and bugging me. So of course, you know, puppy gets a cookie. He knows mommy's cookie drawer is right next to her. So I start scrapbooking. He's like, hello, mother. I need a cookie. So there is my layout. I am done. I will have some still shots coming up. I hope you will join me for Happy Scrappy Sunday. It is in my One Mommy Scrapping Book. I, book. One Mommy Scrapping page. Where did I get book from? I am not redoing this entire voiceover just because I said book at the end. <laughs> um, but I've got some still shots coming up. And my Happy Scrappy Sunday lives are normally 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Sundays. You can check my group for more details. I hope you guys all have a lovely day. Enjoy the still shots and like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm.